Here we go. So, we're taking a look at number five first. We have to give slope intercept form of the line has this slope and this point. So if I have a point and a slope, I have to use point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So that's where I start, but that's not where I finish because that's not slope intercept form. To get into slope intercept form, I distribute the two. And I add the four. So my final answer is y equals 2x plus 2. So you either got it right or you got it wrong. I worry that some of you know to put the 2 here because the slope is 2. But then, for whatever reason, I always have kids that just instead of doing the workout, they think it's just this number. It's not! Notice the right answer does not have a four right there. So if you wrote y equals two x plus four, you cannot do it that way. The only time that you know what this number is gonna be is if you know it's the y-intercept, which is only gonna be the case if the x is a zero, which it's not. So the y-intercept is not four. So please don't put a four in for b, because it doesn't belong there. Just go through your steps. You know the slope, you know the point, Put in point slope form and then rewrite it. You'll get it right every time. Okay, so there's five. Then we jump to 25. 25 is a problem where I just have two points. I'm going to check. Do my x's match? No. Do my y's match? I have three and negative three, but they have to be exactly the same and they're not. Okay, so I can't just get away with, oh, it's just x equals some number, y equals some number. I actually have to do the work. So, in order to write the equation of the line, I need the slope. So I gotta find the slope first. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus negative five turns into a plus. Be careful and watch your signs. Negative three minus three is not zero. What is it? Negative six over seven. That's my slope, is negative six sevenths. Now, I have the slope, I have two points. I can write the equation of a line with a point and a slope. Which point do I use? Anyone you want. I'm gonna pick this one just because they're smaller. So I'm gonna cross this one out because I don't need it anymore and I don't wanna get confused. So, y plus three equals negative six sevenths times x minus two. If you pick this other point, it doesn't matter. We're all gonna end up in the same spot as long as we built it right. I can't leave it like this, unfortunately, because again, they're asking me for slope intercept form. So I have to distribute that negative six sevenths. So oh, minus six sevenths x. And now what is that when I multiply this times this? Positive 12 sevenths, you got it. Now all I have to do is minus three from both sides. You can clear the fractions right here if you'd rather. Okay, that's your choice. I'm okay minusing three from both sides because I can write three with a denominator of seven. What number divided by seven is three? 21. So I would just minus 21 sevenths from both sides, which really is three. 21 sevenths is just three. But now I have common denominators and I can do it much faster. 12 sevenths minus 21 sevenths leaves me at negative nine sevenths. And I'm done. So even if you cleared the fractions, we're still gonna end up in the same spot. Even if you had chosen the other point, we're still gonna end up in the same spot. It doesn't matter. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, 28. Uh-huh. 28. Here's my two points. But alas, I noticed something. Did you notice something? Drew? Two zeros. Yes. And not only two zeros, they're both in the Y spot. That's my answer. If the Y's match, 
The answer is just y equals that number. If the x's match, it's just x equals that number. It doesn't have to be zeros, it could be anything. If I have the same number in both y spots, it's just y equals that number. If I have the same number in both x spots, it's just x equals that number. If you didn't realize this, that's okay. If you still went through and was like, oh, I need to find the slope. When you go to find the slope, look at what you have. Zero minus zero over three minus five. You get 0 over negative 2. What does it mean when you have 0 in the numerator? What's that really? Zero. It's just 0. So then maybe your brain gets triggered and you're like, oh, a slope of 0. That's a hoy vux business. If I have the slope of 0, who am I dealing with, hoy or vux? Hoy. Yeah, hoy, because it's the middle letter. So that tells me it's a horizontal line. Yeah, but I don't care about that. It's just y equals. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, sh I wish I had realized that before. Yep, the y's are the same. I did all this extra work for nothing. But it's still right. But if you take a second and just check, do I have the same exact x's or the same exact y's? It'll save you a bunch of time. Okay, so your final answer to this was just y equals 0. Uh, 51. 51, okay, this one I want it to be through this point parallel to this point. Well, parallel lines, what's the deal with the slopes? Exactly the same. So my slope of this line has to be 5 fourths, the exact same as it was there. My slope is 5 fourths. Now you have the slope and you have a point. So you do just like you did before y minus 3 equals slope times x minus 4. You still got to end up in slope intercept form, which is annoying, but it's not so bad. Just distribute that 5 fourths. 5 fourths x. What's 5 fourths times negative 4? If you said negative 5, you're right because those would cancel. And now all I have to do is add the three to the other side. And I'm done. Y equals 5 fourths X minus two. See if you got that one right. And then number 69. This one, aha, look at this one here. I have to be perpendicular to this and it has to go through this point. If it's going to be perpendicular, what is it? Yeah, Drew? Well, remember, if it's going to be parallel, I would just do x equals whatever x is again. Right? I would just keep it the same. It's y equals, because I want perpendicular, and Taylor would be y equals what? That's it, whatever the y value is. So if it's parallel, you just keep it x equals. If it's perpendicular, I gotta switch it. And then just tell me whatever that value is. And then the last one, 88, so fast, here we go. All I need, oh goody, I know exactly where this thing is crossing the y-axis, it's at negative two. So that's gonna go in for b. And then I do need to figure out the slope. Let's see, here's another good point right here. That's the only really good one on this graph. So make sure that when you're finding the slope, you're always going from left to right. Don't go backwards. So from left to right, I'm going down one, two, three, four, five to the right one. So my slope is negative five over one or just negative five. Right? So when I put all the pieces together, y equals mx, and then b is a negative 2. There's my equation.